right, so this scene was trimmed down. Oh, hey, check out the, the volunteer moms. We put them in line and let them get a look at the lifeguard there. He's a, he's a well-built young man. That's Charlie's mom in the glasses. And um, yeah, this, this was definitely a, a fun day. It's been a while since I've seen this scene uh, completely cut together. Um, the backstory is uh, Stacy definitely um, has a lot of neuroses, and she also has a lot of, uh, I guess, hobbies of which you know, allow her to be by herself a lot. So she talks to herself often as she does when she scrapbooks, and so she's doing some scrapping right now, or some scrapbooking. I don't really know what the proper term for that is. I don't scrapbook, but anyway. Um, this whole scene, basically, she's talking to herself and she's referencing the parents from today. And she hopes Bertie didn't touch the penis. And she's uh, really did a wonderful job. And it was really funny. And, and, and watching it back, uh, kind of laughed out loud a few times. Um, it's, it's hard to, to act by yourself. And that's basically what she was doing here. Um, but this was a good day for uh, Taya and for me as far as... Uh, developing a director actress uh relationship we definitely uh learned to trust each other on this day Birdie? and uh, of course there's little gracie Birdie, this is your mother. and though this she's is not boy. looking at a penis this she is actually is boy. looking at um i think we put a rock in that kid's hand but anyway that's it and uh all right then oh the family photo and gracie and derek dan and Charlie and Turkey uh, this scene was um, it was a you know it was one of those was scenes that uh, that when Charlie wrote it, it had so many uh, great levels and, and points and it's actually uh, I think this scene this is actually a testament to Charlie's writing as far as, you know, having different points within a, a long script that, or a long scene that you can actually, you know, break in and out of at different points and not actually have to stay on page. And um, we were able to find some good cut points um, within it to make it a little a little shorter because we added the, the party scene afterwards. And we were trying to develop the Chase and uh, Tyler friendship. But this is a fun scene. Well, you probably want to hear me say that about Jeez, all the scenes. All the scenes were fun. We actually did have a fun time making the movie, and I'm not just saying that. No wonder you turned out to be such a respectable young man. Actually, she's nothing like me. She's Although it would be pretty funny if I was the director that just completely talked <laughs> crap about everybody. Oh, this scene sucked. <laughs> this is horrible. I can't believe I did this. I'm sorry. Look at Dan's hair. Look at Charlie's <laughs> beard. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. What were they thinking? I think the next film I do with Charlie, I will have a beardometer. <laughs> what scene is this? Oh, the Picasso scene. This scene, we decided to take out the dialogue. Also, you can see the rain there. And, um, the roof over Charlie's head is tin, and so you can actually hear the the raindrops hitting the tin roof, and it basically provided a big distraction. So, um, Peter Liptak again, the editor, found a way to kind of still save this scene and make it kind of a a transition, a people transition, if you will, as opposed to a a scenic transition, which we have so many of. So we put some music behind it. But that's what it was. It was just a nice little scene with those two. And in, a, in one of the versions, Charlie paints a beard on <laughs> on Taya's face there. He's so obsessed with beards. <laughs> Grandma's house. Um, this particular scene, I think also was one of the scenes that... Um, you find that there are some there are some good points, and that you kind of find uh, whenever you do the scene that you find out that there's actually a lot of sections within it 
that that get a story across without necessarily having to say exactly what um, certain people think or feel. And I think this scene became more about Taya, or I'm sorry, about Stacy, and, and, and knowing that, you know, chances are at home right now. Her husband and uh, son's best friend are probably, you know, doing something. And so we we cut this scene down and kind of focused more on on the character of Stacy. Say anything that we don't already know, Mom. Well, not to his face anyway. That might upset him. She can chug that wine or that grape juice. This was another scene that uh, that we shortened a little bit. Um, we also found, and, and this is a, a this is a testament to to all of us involved for a low budget. We we were able to knock off a lot of footage. We were able actually to shoot pretty much everything that was on page. And by the time we looked up, we had had um, we were we were kind of over a, a certain link that that we all felt that we weren't necessarily comfortable with. We kind of want to stay around the 90 to 93, 95 minute range. And we started finding ourselves that we needed to start trimming some scenes. And Linda and Charlie and I, we, we, we more or less agreed on definitely being able to go through certain scenes and just trimming just certain parts of dialogue. And, and you look up and if you just trim a few, a few scenes here and there, you, you can shave off 30 seconds to a minute, which is actually, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is if you're trying to really go for a targeted time, uh, a length in time, I guess, or a scene. Don't worry, she's all right with it. Okay, wait. Birdie knows that me. That you're gay. <gasps> yes, that I'm gay. And it must have been terrible to feel like you had to keep it a secret. That's that's a that's a pink or that's a pink robe. <sighs> Barbecue chase. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, it's fine. It's totally. It's good. It it is it is also kind of sad because uh, they worked well together and they didn't really have. You know, the two scenes that they had together, we both trimmed. But I think it worked out in the long run. I think it kind of paid off in the end. So in, um, hey. in, in this scene, this is um, when Nathan gets to say his piece to his son. Tyler is already... Really made it known how he feels about the whole situation. So this is it's Nathan's turn. And, and what Derek and Dan do in this scene to me is is, is really is top notch acting. They you're really able to, to see them as, as as people come through in these characters. I think Charlie did a really a good job as far as making this dialogue try to seem you know making this dialogue light and then we were fortunate to have two characters who could take that There's no excuse in the world that can and make a scene that for a lot of people would be really awkward of, of course it would be but I think these I think these two guys really were able to encompass that they do love each other there it's a father and son and, and that they want to try to find um, a new road to go down and, the, and they do this. I think also with this scene, it's it, in a lot of ways. I watch the extended version, and I watch the the version that's in the final cut. And uh, I wonder what I was thinking. Why did we take out some of Nathan's dialogue? Um, both work really well, though. I think, but in this particular scene, I think really focuses definitely much more. On Nathan and I think with the, the scene we have in the final cut it maybe gives a little more of a balance but either way both these guys did a wonderful job in this scene it's good stuff really good stuff uh, this scene um, with this particular scene I think it was um some technical issues that we were having with um, the jib arm 
and uh, it was really windy this day. And uh, whenever we were discussing this particular this particular scene, this is the one that I think there was a we did about nine to ten takes of this scene, and uh, why well, I think it took us a while to all come to an agreement on on one. And, and my particular argument always was um, the technical aspect. It was always it was more for me the the constant moving of of the camera, and it took away from what was being said and um, I think also for me I, I, I wanted to really try to save uh, their moment between Chase and Tyler I wanted to save their moment for the end at the bus stop and I really want to try to build up to that and so um, actually kind of glad that we we trimmed this scene down and saved their moment for the end as opposed to now because I really think the ending kind of would have been a little less powerful had we kept the dialogue in for this scene and um, see look at that was a crazy camera move right there um, and Alice doesn't mind me saying this because she agrees so Alice if you're watching this I love you um, but once again how fortunate were we to be in such a in such a beautiful place this next shot looks fake. It looks like we CG'd a sailboat. We didn't CG a sailboat. We we stole it and we <laughs> we anchored it off about a hundred yards away from the scene. No, we didn't steal it. But there it is. One of our many money shots. I like to say that we have. This is, I guess, it's technically an extended scene. It could also be considered a deleted scene and also an alternate ending um, before we decided to um, have the shot of Nathan driving off this was um, an ending I don't know if it was necessarily a consensus if we all agreed if we all liked it but I definitely know that the look Taya gives in this scene is, is one that can sum up the story and could also very well be an ending. Um, she just really, this look she gives to her kids, and then when she looks down uh, to the chair that, that Nathan sat in, and we fade out. I, I still think this could always have been a possible, still be a possible ending, but it's very strong, and Taya really does a, a wonderful job there.